Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Borderlands 3 Legendary Open Cup once again. My name is Product Zeus. And guys, the gun I thought we'd take a look at in today's video is a very cool and fun to use, in my opinion, dull assault rifle called the Star Helix. So as always, guys, later on in the video, we'll go into its stats and how it works and if I like it or not. So with that being said, guys, all that's left to say is please consider going ahead and leaving a like and subscribe because it does mean the absolute world to me. And without further ado, let's jump into how we get our hands on this gun. Okay, guys, so the location you're going to want to go to to get your hands on this specific weapon is is actually in Promethea. Once you've selected Promethea, guys, you're just going to want to go down to Atlas HQ. Now, from there, guys, it's not a long walk at all. We're just going to make our way through this little section here up the stairs. And instead of going all the way around the right here, we're just going to go left. And I'll show you why in a second. Because basically, guys, the enemy we're going to be farming to get this gun are actually a number of enemies that have a rare spawn called the Power Troopers. Now, the Power Troopers are obviously a reference to what some of us grew up with, the Power Rangers, guys. And essentially, if you didn't know, like I mentioned, they are a rare spawn, meaning we are going to have to farm this spawn to farm the gun itself. Now, each one of these guys has a chance of dropping their own specific legendary or world drops or maybe their own ones. So you do get the actual Thunderball Fist from these guys as well, which I have got in this video. But essentially, guys, what you're going to want to do is make your way over to this big wall here. Jump onto this little ledge and you can jump straight over upon it using Borderlands 3's new improved climbing system. Now, as you can see, guys, I did actually get them to spawn first time and I actually got them to drop the Star Helix as well. But now that we've got our hands on the gun, guys, let's go ahead and take a quick look at this gun stats. Okay. Okay guys, so as you can see I have the Star Helix, it's anointed and it is a damage of 476 times 3 an accuracy of 79%, a handling of 58% with a reload time of 2.4 seconds. The fire rate is a decent 7.68 seconds, a magazine size of 24. The red text is the stars are better off without us and this is actually a reference to a author. And we do get a bit of weapon zoom guys, but as you can see I do have one of the best anointments in the game, Anointed Siren. After using phase cast, weapon damage is increased by 250% for a short time. Okay, so you're probably wondering what's this gun's gimmick. It's Borderlands 3. All legendaries have a gimmick. And guys, this dull assault rifle has no exception. Basically, what this gun is going to do for you is it shoots two to three bullets that weave into each other. So basically, imagine the cutsman if it had a lot faster velocity. I personally love using this gun because although it's probably not the best gun out of all of them, it's very fun to use because you do get a more FPS shooter feel from it. It sounds stupid. There's a lot of crazy guns in Borderlands 3, so when you get one that actually shoots bullets, it's a nice surprise. So I say damage-wise, it's pretty good. As a Mara, I'm actually managing to kill these enemies very easy on Mayhem 2. And obviously, I do have that insane damage buff when I use face cast. Obviously, I do have gameplay of that, as well as just normal gameplay of the gun itself and no buffs. It killed Chewy fairly quick, guys, but this isn't going to be the gun that I'd say you use on bosses. What I'd say it's best for is close quarter mobbing. So if you get enemies that are very close together, you can really go for those criticals because it does wrap around and do a lot of damage I find. It's got a very fast velocity and I don't really know what kind of different presets you can get but my specific one is a full auto and a burst one. Unlike the Night Hawkins burst fire preset it is a very restricted burst fire so you're better off to use the full auto but nevertheless it's still very good and you do get a bit of added zoom if you need it. So in my opinion guys I'd give this gun probably a 7 out of 10. It's not the best assault rifle in the game. I'm probably going to keep my inventory though because it's very fun to use. It gives you that kind of gritty FPS bullet feeling if that makes sense. But anyway, guys, that is going to be today's Borderlands 3 Legendary Open Gun. I really do hope it helped you if you were specifically looking for this gun. Or if not, let me know in the comment section if you weren't looking for this gun, but you're going to go ahead and get it anyway. I just want to say a massive thank you, guys. I know it may not seem a lot to some of you, but 700 subscribers, you boys hit it. The Zeus boys now have 710, I think. It means the absolute world to me. You guys have been absolutely killing it. And here's to 800, boys. So that being said, guys, if you do enjoy the content, please consider going ahead and leaving a like and subscribing because it obviously means the world to me. I love you. I hope you have an amazing rest of the day wherever you are, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.